my gosh, this is the best angle I could ever ask for. Hello, my little drawers. I am Mystical Mimi, and today's video is a very special video to me because if you saw my last video, well, my last video, my birthday video, my god sister got a reflection, but um, anyways, she got me this coloring book okay making sure it doesn't show me and a canvas and a whole paint set like what so like today i'm going to be making something using these stuff now you might be asking why am i doing this is this just random or it actually has a purpose so my sister is gonna get baptized and my one of my grandparents and I want to do something. I want to do something nice for them because this is a big day for them and this needs to be cherished. And I wanna check sorry, I wanna cherish this moment by drawing them something. Which you're gonna show you're gonna see what see what it is. Um so yeah. I'm going to oh, I'm opening something so that's why I'm doing a voiceover. So this is going to be my second series of Growing Faith in Christ. And yeah, I think this relates because these are two brothers and you'll hear about their story later. So yeah. And there's gonna be three parts. First off, me explaining the story, and then the second part's gonna be my um talk about my um one of my grandparents and my sisters getting baptized, and sister getting baptized. The third part is what I'm drawing basically, and yeah, that's really all. And let's get on with the video. So this is my sketch. So here's going to be a sunset. Here's the cross, the grass, and the silhouette of this person. And this is going to be the water of them getting baptized. This literally looks amazing. I just hope the painting goes amazing. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to start with the sunset. So now that I explained what I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to be talking, we're going to be doing a little review of what we learned in our previous lesson of learning the Bible with me. So, we're going to start about what is God. Who is God, sorry. So, God is our creator. He's our father, our heavenly father. Um, and, um, yeah. So, now let's go into what is the Bible. The Bible is information us Christians use to understand God more. Um, understand what happened in the past. And to have a relationship with him. Now, what are Christians? Well, Christians are people who believe in Christ, that believe that there's a God, and that God, and that, that there's a God, and that that God created all the heavens and the earth, and that we're going to meet him when we, you know, die. Um, I don't like to use that word, but it is true when we, you know, die we're gonna see him and he's gonna judge us and ask us did we share the gospel did we teach it to our friends were we too scared to you know say hey let's pray or you know do small small simple stuff so um yeah so um yeah so now we're gonna go on to the actual lesson which is episode two the two brothers now so now we're going to go on to the first section, which is the story. So watch the first video to understand. Um, I'm going to give a link, maybe. I don't know. So let's go on to the story. So I've, so before Adam and Eve got kicked out of the Garden of Eden, God told them that the serpent would be cursed to be a snake to walk on its belly or crawl on its belly for the rest of the life. Now, for Eve, her curse was that when she gives birth, there's going to be pain and all that stuff. And for Adam, God told Adam that when he's, like, trying to get for, trying to look for food and stuff, like, in the soil, there's going to be thorns and, you know, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be a hard time finding, you know, not finding food, but, like, you know, get food and stuff like that. So, then God kicked Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. Now, as time goes on, as time goes on, Eve gives birth to two lovely boys 
oldest Cain, youngest Abel. Now, Cain, as they get older, Cain and Abel are going to help their their parents out because, you know, their parents are getting old and old and old. And they're like, you know, probably in their teens now or, you know. So now, they're helping out their parents. And what Cain, so now, here are their jobs, their responsibilities. So Cain works in, like, the field and stuff while Abel, like, runs over the sheep and stuff. He's a, wait, shepherd. Shepherd, yeah, 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 yeah. I totally know you, Shepherd. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I can't think right now. So, Cain is very, he's a very jealous man. Not man, but child, whatever. He's very jealous of his brother, Abel. Because I think it's because of favoritism. Not favoritism, but like, he thinks that his brother is, um, gets everything he wants and is kind of like the, you know, youngest, you know how that is. Um, so, while Abel is super nice, sweet, kind, you know. So, yeah. So, now, one day, the father, the father, um, what's his name? Adam tells them to make, um, I think either Adam or Eve tells them to make a sacrifice to God. So, then, by the way, they used to, they did sacrifice, it was because of their sins. So, they would use, like, a sheep or whatever to, you know, cover the blood of their sins and all that stuff. But we're not there yet. So, Cain gets one of his old, you know, crops out to die, you know, just put on the thing. Altar. I'm not sure if that's what they use. I don't know. So, then... While um, Abel, he got one of his youngest, the first, a newborn sheep. I'm not sure if they're called something or not, but a newborn sheep. And he gave that to God as, as his sacrifice. And God accepts Abel's, but not Cain's. And Abel, I mean, and Cain is very jealous and mad. And then God tells Cain, don't let sin, don't let jealousy take over. Don't let that happen. But Cain as Cain, lets jealousy takes over. So one day Cain's like, hey brother, come here. Takes Abel out to some field or something. Cain, the oldest, kills his brother. Dun, dun, dun. He kills his own brother because that's how much jealousy took over. And then he's just walking off away. And his parents are like, where's Abel? He's like, I don't know. I'm not my brother's keeper. That's exactly what it says in the Bible. Cain said, I don't know. I'm not my brother's keeper. So then he just, and then they're like, go find him. And then he's like, okay. He goes in the field. We don't know where in the world he's going. But then God's like, where's your brother? He tells God, I am not my brother's keeper. And then he's like, and then God is saying, said, I can hear your brother's blood. Well, so blood um, crying out to me. I know you kill your brother. And Cain is, like, asking, like, apology. He, he's like, oh, my gosh, this was so wrong of me. How can I forgive? How can you forgive me? And God tells him to go all over the nations, travel all over the nations. And God put a mark on Abel's, Cain, sorry, Cain's head so they know. that Because God puts, like, if anyone, like, kills so what he says, like, he put a mark on Cain's head, forehead or whatever. And he said that if anyone kills Abel, I mean Cain, sorry, Cain, then they will be cursed with something when they die or something. I'm not too sure. But then Cain leaves his parents, that's what God told him to do, and he went all over the nations and died. And that's the story of the two brothers hopefully i explained it in a well like hopefully i explained it for like a point you can understand and fun fact they actually had a brother 
name. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say Gethsemane, but that's a place, I think. What's his name? It was, uh... The third brother's name was Seth. And when I Googled it, it said how, like, I guess somehow Eve and Adam found out that, um their youngest Abel was killed so they thought it was like a, God gave them God gave Eve and Adam a third child as like a replacement for Abel even though he can't really be replaced but yeah so now we're gonna go on to the last thing because I explained what I'm drawing so I'm gonna be go- we're gonna be going to the last thing which is um talking about my parents my my sisters and one of my grandparents' decision about getting baptized. Now I feel like that they this is a good decision that they made, especially one of my grandparents because this because you know my grandparents are getting old, very old. One of my grandparents that got baptized are getting old and like you know they need to get baptized. So I'm glad that one of my grandparents they got baptized. Um, truly, I don't know if my other grandparent got baptized or not, but yeah, I'm glad that the other one did. I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna name which one, like you know, but um, yeah. And another thing is that my sister got baptized, and I thought God is so good because my sister, we're both sisters, <laughs> and this story is about two brothers. And I was like, wow, what a coincidence! It's not really a coincidence. It's all happened for a reason. So. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all. I'm going to end it off here, cut some parts, and I'm going to show you the final results of the drawing. And again, I'm so glad that my one of my grandparents and my sister made the decision to get baptized, and here's the final results. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, my lovely drawers. Bye, my lovely drawers.